Can I tell you briefly about the Arbor? Why don't you tell us briefly about the Arbor and then we can move on? Which is a docudrama, is that the way to describe it? Um, it is it's it is on one level a documentary about uh, the playwright Andrea Dunbar who had a, a, a place produced when she was very, very young, died very, very young, uh, left behind some extraordinary work, wrote Rita Sue and Bob Two, which was obviously filmed. Um, and what's happened is that uh, Claire Bernard, who's directed this, and this is from the Art Angel stable, has gone back to uh, to the estate on which she grew up and done a number of things. Firstly, they have staged scenes from uh, her work there in the estate, but what they've done for the bulk of the piece is to take recordings of people who knew her, people who are related to her, people who work with her, audio recordings, right? And then got actors to lip sync to the audio recordings on screen. Now, when you describe that technique, it sounds, you think that's not gonna work, right? That is not going to work. People, actors lip syncing to documentary audio tapes. What, you know, how is that, how is that gonna, what's it gonna do? Now, obviously this owes to some extent a debt to the verbatim theater tradition, and there, there are sort of roots of this. It sounds, in, a, bit, it sounds a, a bit like the Dennis Potter, Pennies from Heaven, Sequences where they used to, where, where the actors would, like Michael Gabbard, would, would lip sync to, would, would to, lip -sync to, to clearly songs. old songs. Yeah, sure. Well, yeah, it's it's like that only in that it is it's lip syncing. Here's what I think happens in the case, and I have to say I'm very impressed by the art, but I did not expect the effect of it to be anything anything like as strong as it was. When you are watching these, the stories that they're telling are very harrowing, very difficult. I mean, there is tough stuff in the Arbor. This is, this is a tough life, stories of tough lives. When you are watching people acting, lip syncing to audio that you know to be real, but what they're doing is a performance. What it actually does is in a very, in an oddly unintrusive way, it highlights that difference between what's true and what's fictional, what's absolute and what is vague, what is certain truth and what is interpreted truth. And essentially what, what it does is it tells you as the story is being told that every person has a different version of a story. Every person's version of somebody is their own version of somebody and it, questions that central idea that just because somebody said something and it appears to be factual doesn't mean it's it is an absolute truth now that sounds i know when i say it like that it sounds terribly dry terribly sort of theoretical and you can't imagine there being you know a whole lot of pleasure in watching in watching that movie the extraordinary thing about the arbor is that it, it found a dramatic way of getting that complex idea across in which was oddly mesmerizing, particularly considering the difficulty of the subject matter, the raw emotion of some of these stories, the really challenging nature of some of the situations that are being described, that are being explained. I thought they had really hit upon something. As I said, I understand that it has the theatrical roots, I understand you know, that you, there is a debt out of a but what I saw on screen really surprised me and really made me think, blimey, that is so much more than an experiment. That is an experiment that has worked, that has been thought through, that is, that is aesthetically and intellectually complete, and it works, and it's interesting, and it's moving, and you won't see another film like it in the cinema at the moment.